P3 performance strategy. Under the systems-based auditing approach, auditors and management identify all financial and non-financial auditable systems and processes. The four duties of the internal auditor under the systems-based auditing approach are identifying the risk to the achievement of objectives, two, deciding whether the controls in place are appropriate, three, testing to see whether the controls are operating effectively in practice, and lastly, reporting on the findings and monitors and monitors the implementation of agreed recommendations. Internal audit has shifted from a focus on systems and processes to a risk-based approach. The objective of risk-based internal auditing is to provide assurance to the board that the risk management processes which management has put in place are operating as intended. This includes all risk management processes at corporate, divisional, business unit and business process levels. These risk management processes are part of a sound design. The responses that management has made to risks which they wish to treat as adequate and effective in reducing those risks to a level acceptable to the board. A sound framework of controls is in place to mitigate those risks which management wishes to treat. Risk-based internal auditing. Objectives of risk-based auditing. Internal audit has shifted from a focus on systems and processes to a risk-based approach. The objective of risk-based internal auditing is to provide assurance to the board that 1 the risk management processes which management has put in place are operating as intended. This includes all risk management processes at corporate, divisional, business unit and business process levels. Two, that these risk management processes are part of a sound design. Three, the responses that management has made to risks which they wish to treat are adequate and effective in reducing these risks to a level that's acceptable to the board. And lastly, a sound framework of controls is in place to mitigate those risks which management wishes to treat. The risk-based auditing approach. Risk-based internal auditing begins with business objectives and focuses on those risks identified by management that may prevent the objectives from being achieved. Internal audit assesses the risk to which a robust risk management process is in place to reduce risks to a, corp to a level acceptable to the board. A risk-based internal auditing approach 
enables internal audit to link directly with risk management. Risk maturity and internal audit. Different organizations are at different stages of maturity in relation to risk management. The internal audit function needs to match its program, particularly how it assesses risk according to the degree of risk maturity. Repeat, risk maturity and internal audit approach. Different organizations are at different stages of maturity in relation to risk management. The internal audit function needs to match its program, particularly how it assesses risk according to the degree of risk maturity. Assurances to the board that risk-based internal auditing can provide. One, that it acknowledges its responsibility for the design and implementation of internal control to prevent and detect fraud. Risk maturity levels versus the appropriate internal audit approach. Risk maturity levels versus the appropriate internal audit approach. Risk naive. That's if, it, if a company is risk naive, then you must the internal audit approach is to promote risk management and rely on audit risk assessment. If the risk maturity level is risk aware, then the internal audit approach is to promote enterprise-wide approach to risk management and rely on audit risk assessment. If the risk maturity level is risk defined, then the internal audit approach is to facilitate risk management and or liaise with risk management and use management assessment of risk. And finally, if the risk maturity level is risk enabled, then the internal audit approach is to audit risk management processes and use management assessment of risk as appropriate.